pray that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, that you may know what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe. And according to his might, the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and he set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, he's far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but in the world that is to come. And God hath put all things under his feet and given him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness which filleth all in all, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, whether they're in heaven, whether they're in earth, whether they're visible or invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and through him all things consist. And he's the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all the fullness dwell. And wherefore, and wherefore God hath also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus 